So today we're checking out regular Rebecca, the modded character that I already played the tainted variant of and I wanted to try their regular version. What is in the treasure room? I will take this, thank you. Back at it again with the Binding of Isaac, you know how it is. Once this game has a grip on you, it's forever, lifelong, you can never go back. After playing tainted Rebecca for a bit, I was kind of curious about how the original played because I never got to play them. And after some testing, I actually really enjoy their design. So every single enemy we kill, you can see there's going to be hearts flying towards us and that's going to charge up our little passion meter I believe it's called on the top left and when that's filled we'll be able to use our pocket active item hugs and roses and do a big blast on whoever we need to stats wise I picked up the tears up but I'm pretty sure they have regular tier rate regular damage oh that's so good regular speed and regular range however it is worthy to note that I believe they just straight up start with specifically negative 0.13 luck I'm not sure if that number is significant or they just thought it'd be funny to be a little bit different and quirky either way you know it's, it's pretty cool but those are not the really cool mechanics of this character the way this character works is insanely unique because when we beat a boss, a mirror will spawn. And depending on the hearts that we have, we'll be able to turn into the soul heart variant of Rebecca and see what she's all about, right? So first of all, before anything, I do want to show you guys what regular Rebecca Hugs and Roses does. You basically go into this little state, and then when you shoot, you go crazy and you get a big blast, right? So here, we see the mirror spawns and it's switching between the red, the nerd, and the aloof, the soul heart. So if you pause real quick, you can actually see that the uh, the red heart version is the one that we have right now. So what we're going to do is that touch the soul heart version. And now we're a different kind of Rebecca who I don't know what this one does. So we're going to have to figure it out. So I believe every single variant of heart has a variant of Rebecca, right? There's going to be a bone heart version, soul heart version, even a golden heart version. I don't know what any of them do. I just knew what the red heart one was doing uh, just for testing purposes, right? So we're going to try and discover all of them. And if I'm unable to check all of them out on the single run, then we'll check them out afterwards, right? No big deal. Mr. Boom, I take. It's a wonderful item. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Give me this secret room. Oh, I was right. Pills, sure, I guess I'll do it. Amnesia's whatever. I can see forever is beautiful. I did not expect a room above me. Balls, by the way. Oh, it's just a big room, I see. So what is this called? Wizub tongue? Burst out your love to everyone. I don't like how that sounds. <laughs> I don't know if I will be doing that, but I will be showcasing what the pocket active item does. And that's the about the extent of how I'll go. Ooh, demon beggar? Absolutely. We have just enough hearts for a guaranteed payout. Unless I'm super unlucky, there you go. Oh, missing page too. You know what? Even if I didn't get the best item ever, getting a payout from a demon beggar always feels kind of good. I was looking at the blind, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, so I did not realize if Ipecac was right there until my brain registered. In which case it was sick. What the heck? It's not green. <laughs> It's like I'm still crying or something. Okay, cool. Beautiful stuff. Oh, Blub is done for. Should I just change right now since I have a black heart? I mean, I guess I could just show you what this does. Let, I, uh, let me go in the double room. Hold on. Oh, yikes. <laughs> Absolutely no thank you. What are you doing? You know what? Let's use this big thing on the mom hand. See what happens. I gotta be aware because it might do like Ipecac or something. Ah, it's like a monstro. Interesting. We don't want to take the devil. The vengeful spirit is not worth. We'll take the damage up absolutely. And then we will take this black heart variant for ourselves. Something to note as well is that every single variant of Rebecca has a dash uh, through the control button or whatever the swap button is for you guys, right? So I believe this version of Rebecca has a unique dash where it's kind of like a go underneath the, the floor. There you go. And then you get the control where you pop out and tears come out. Very nice. Oh, I didn't I didn't notice that. When you go up close to the mirror, it pauses so you can actually pick the right one. That's that's actually nice. I like that. So, what the hell? <laughs> what happened to my damage? It's so large. I guess it's something to do with Ipecac, right? I mean, Ipecac is like, what, like a plus 40 damage up at base? But still, doesn't that mean I have effectively 14 base damage? What is going on? What does my dash do in this state? What? Huh? Wait, that's sick. Let's try on the next floor. It looks like I do some kind of weird state where the haunt comes around, or not the haunt, the heretic, I guess, right? Boom. I choose where I go. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see the vision. I totally get it. I totally get it. So what's going on is that I basically turn, you know, intangible. I choose where I go, and where I land is actually where the haunt will come and then deal damage to everyone. Look at that. Boom. Very cool. 
Did it do explosion damage as well because of Impikai? Is that a synergy? Oh, I don't know. We also have this pocket active Apo state that we're gonna try and test out, see what this does. We need uh, keys to enter that room, unfortunately, because that's just how doors work, I guess. Oh, I think I understand. So depending on if you're on the left or right hand of the screen, the uh, ghosty goo dude will come from that side, right? So depending on which side you're closer to. Yeah, I can see it. I see it happening. There you go. Interesting stuff. Boom. Milk. Not too good with Ipecac. I'll take the blind. Homing shots are beautiful. Homing Ipecac. Take me back to 2012, why don't you? Anything in this cursed room? Ooh. I, I'll i drop a Mr. Boom for, honestly, two boss items or just even a Caves 1 boss item. I think it's worth. You gotta remember, I do kind of have infinite bombs here, right? With Ipecac, there's no point in me keeping Boom too much. I just kind of like the smile on his face. He's very happy to be here. I can't imagine what this Apa state is gonna do for me on top of the fact that I have Ipecac. I'm pretty sure I saw on the description very briefly something to do with Brimstone. And uh, I'm, I'm quite terrified. <laughs> it does kind of look like a giant shotgun, so I, I can only imagine what's about to happen to Clog. Cool sprite art. Here we go. Oh, I see. Okay, that is cool. So that seems to basically, yeah, be a giant Ganga Brimstone, uh, but it was also in combination with Ipecac, right? So I think it has synergies. Let's take the sty and then let's continue the uh, mirror dimension. All right, we'll use our passion brim here again. It does seem like the brim is the most powerful one so far. And I think that makes sense because black hearts are not that easy to come across, right? So boom, here we go. So that only begs the question, doesn't that mean that bone hearts and potentially even golden hearts could be the most powerful thing we come across? I do think I saw on the main menu for like when you're uh, checking out the character, there was like a golden gun or something I was super interested in. I bet you that has something to do with the golden hearts, right? Hello. What are you? <laughs> Did I- was I- was I not supposed to come in here? I'm sorry, I should have knocked or something instead of blowing an entire door open, right? Make sure to knock, ladies and gentlemen, it's- it's just common courtesy. Well, I guess I just try. Whoa. No words. I don't know- I don't know how to feel. What's going on? Is that a buff Satan that is puffin? <laughs> Wait, that's sick. <laughs> what? That's awesome. He's just puffing out. He's jacked, my guy. Uh, well, red key's definitely the best thing here. I guess it's just like an extra shot that you can have. I, I For testing purposes, right? Okay, good to know. Um, well, I guess so. I'm taking you. Yeah, clap, clap for him, Satan. Good job, Mr. White Goat. Gimme, gimme, free damage. This is uh, actually a very productive floor and I think about it, right? We've done so much. All right, so let's go to the mines just because, you know, it's a bony place. Maybe I'll get lucky and find a bone heart. All right, vault room uh, instantly paid back with the two keys that I was just about to mention that I probably shouldn't be spending my keys, so thanks. Oh, do I have a charge? Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? There's a charge with this one? I don't know what that did. Oh, I just leave behind a fire, I guess. Well, that homing was nasty, actually. He did a full-on 90% curve to hit that guy. Ooh, ultra secret early on. A sacred heart. Ah, uh, it would be too good to be true. Thank you, though. Ooh, holy crown. I'll take this trinket. Just confirming, even though I'm sure it isn't true. Oh, it is? What? I was not expecting that whatsoever. The dash gives you invuln frames for curse room. Just a natural curse room, just because, oh my god, this character is actually pretty powerful then. Another treasure. We're working with major mod overlap currently. Let me get this blind item. Larynx, I hate my life. No biggie, it's okay. I wanted the red key anyway, honestly. It's far more fun than just, you know, pressing space bar. A bit more interactive of gameplay, you know what I mean? Tons of money though. This could be good for us. Restock, Ooh, I mean, it's okay. We'll take it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's broken when you're trying to break the game, but uh, all I'm trying to do is find some new uh, hearts, honestly. Speed down for a damage up. Eh, sure, Speed. why not? Ooh, could be my first clean Gideon fight in a stupidly long time. I know I have Ipecac. Just let me have this W, please. I, I really need this. <laughs> All right, sick. Nice. Ipecac's broken. We get angels, which is cool. TJs. Maybe there's an eternal heart in here? Ah, oh, nah. That's okay, though. But you know what? Swarm Protector is stupidly good because Swarm Protector has a little hidden mechanic where it spawns a eternal heart, I believe. When it blocks enough shots. Isn't it like 10 or something? Blocking 10 shots? Yeah. 
spawns an eternal heart. Perfect. We take this then. Ooh. So before I show you guys the eternal heart variant, there were some characters that I was unable to find during the run, so we're gonna check them out right now. This one I believe is the bone heart variant. It looks like they have a higher than average speed, a little bit extra damage, but nothing too special. Their dash seems to be some kind of bone club swing, and you can see the stamina bar actually goes up. And then if you manage to hit the, the ultimate red heart right there and you fill it up, then you get a little bit of a 360 spin right there. You saw that, right? And on top of that, the fang item, boom, we can use it. And it looks like, uh, what, 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 what? <laughs> this is sick. What? I was not expecting this whatsoever. Like a, a cool transformation. I'm pretty sure we have the gold heart variant here. A bit slower, way higher damage, lower tiers though. Their dash is... What in the hell, huh? My dash is not a dash. My dash is boom. I destroy everything. Psalm caliber 45, which uh, I what I don't even know what I just well, excuse me. I spawned a little mini keeper head. Is that for is that for everyone? Do they do they hurt people? What's going on here? Hold on. Do they, oh, they hurt people. Okay, that's cool. And I imagine, you know, they have coin health. So you probably try and keep them up just like a regular straw man, right? This one's called Rebecca the Crazy, based on the gun on the bottom run, Beelzebub's Breath. I'm assuming this is Rotten Heart related, right? Also, I like that kind of face, very happy. Speed is whatever, tier rate's way higher, but the damage is low. Our dash seems to what in the- I can never predict whatever these are gonna do, guys. I don't know. <laughs> my- my dash removes my head, and the head can shoot, and my body can shoot, and I'm spawning flies. And whenever I push the head, it just- it goes tornado mode. Oh, I I see though, I see. So basically my head's always detached. If I walk to the right and press control again, I can actually force the head to go in another direction. So basically you're gonna be playing headless basically the entire game, right? Let me just regain my head and now try Beelzebub's breath. Boom, what do you do? It's a, oh, cool, that's actually awesome. I spawn a little thingy, right? And I bet, yeah, it just spawns flies for me over time. I, I kind of want to use this in a room. Uh, think of it as similar to, I suppose, Ultra Pestilence, right? Whatever Ultra Pestilence does, this is a perfect gluttonies right here. Looks like they also block shots and do a decent amount of damage. Very cool, I like this one. This one I actually have no idea about, to be honest with you, because I'm pretty sure I thought of every single heart variant, even the broken one, but I can't figure out which one this one is defined to. Maybe blended hearts? I don't know, you guys can tell me. Bit less than average speed, uh, average tiers, but less damage, so it looks like their stats are generally low. The dash is a... ooh. I'm assuming this is maybe like divine intervention, maybe it pushes people around to flex projectiles, right? Shoot at me real quick. Yeah, it does, okay. And the comforter's wing does this. Wh I, it's a wh I just spawned the Ganga crystal. Worship it. Love it. I don't know what it does. Excuse me. Oh, that's sick! <gasps> what? Wait, so when I, I do it, I have permanent angelic prism for the for the room is that what that is it's like an install oh that's cool is it doing anything else i don't i don't think it's doing anything else maybe touch it okay that that pop-up fly kind of just existed he was fine don't worry about it i'm assuming you just spawn you have angelic prism for the room so that's super sick Ooh. all right i don't i'm pretty lucky to be honest with you <laughs> well I, I went one room check the secret room oh you know what there's the ultra thank you uh, HP up? I'll straight up take. That's really good. Boom. Oh my goodness. Do another one, actually. It was super fun to do. Oh, I can't. I'm on cooldown. Look at that. I, I'm pressing Q. It doesn't work. It also looks like I get a tiny bit of a damage up as well. Or whatever that indicator means. I, I do like the dash. Having a little bit of movement is very nice. Library? I take a library. Absolutely. What's in you? Bookworm, I guess. Nothing too crazy, though. Oh, hello! That also works. <laughs> I, I'll take that. A free shop as well. Things are popping off right now. So this one can no longer fire. Congratulations, you can no longer play the game. Enjoy your character. Rebecca can instead fire uh, Urn of Souls-esque flames and a cost of charges. Stacking charges is similar to Neptunus. Double tap to dash. Okay, uh, sure. Why not? Let's, let's figure it out. So now we have Barachial's Petal and... I have Monstro, but like Giga. Wow, that is really broken. What am I shooting, by the way? Are those holy hand grenades? <laughs> that is an awesome detail, what? That is so cool. And then what does my dash do? Ah, I basically, uh, I dash and I pooed out a little bit of uh, tears behind me, which just so happened to be Ipecact, right? 
Oh my god, it's destructive as hell. We'll take this damage up. And you know what? We do have one charge of our pocket active. Let's see what's going on here. Uh-oh. Once uh, they're done exploding. This does this. Whoa! And if you listen closely, it played a, you know, obviously it played a, a, a sound effect, right? But the uh, sound effect was very, very similar to the original Isaac theme for uh, Rebirth. It was like, do 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 right? But luckily, we did find the treasure room eventually while getting hit. That was very epic. And, oh, blind. Oh, yes, good stuff. What? I get it. I get it. You can only have a max of three. It gets converted into full passion bar charges. I see. That guy is large and in charge. <laughs> Biggest wall spider I ever done seen. And here we get Papa Fly. It's mid. Don't worry about it. Ooh. But that is interesting. I'm not gonna keep it, but I will 100% fully charge a shot and just see what's gonna happen, right? For fun. Here we go. Okay. All right. Well, that was fun. I'm too scared now. Bye. I'm sure the homing is definitely contributing to how, like, well I'm receiving this right now. But this feels really fun to play. Like, look at that. Oh my god. Wait a second. I don't know if those back trails are supposed to be homing or if it's because I have Spoonbender. But if it's because I have Spoonbender, that's such an awesome detail. I don't know what just happened. What 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 caused that one? Huh? I'm curious. <laughs> what? Oh yeah 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 yeah. Chill 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 chill. What is this? What is this? Love equals power, just a free item? Each build half red heart gives half a damage. Like a, a, like a damage up? Each empty half red heart gives speed. You know what? Sure. So it's like adrenaline, I guess, but also plus speed. Is this a bed you can sleep in? Probably, but I took damage. Can I check this out? Boom. Okay, this is a bed you can sleep in. I'm learning, understanding, let's go, comprehending, heart. Gives a random stat. Okay, cool. That wasn't a cursed room at all. <laughs> that was a that was a that was a different type of room. All right, I guess I just I didn't see it while walking in. I must have been blind. Got my super secret at least. I got another weird like Satan is jacked room. I'll check it out. Why not? You want to give me a three cent Pandora's box, something I can use to get twenty cents. This guy's blasted out of his mind. I just know it. Why are you laughing at me? This is a good purchase, man. <laughs> What? I just got trolled! It's like a fake Pandora's box, I guess? Give me this sharp plug and this red stew. Get me out of here. Wow, my goodness me. Okay, what I learned is don't trust the white goat dude. He is zonked out of his mind. He is not in the correct headspace. Do not trust him. It's getting worse, guys. Uh-oh. Guys, how do I make it stop? I need to clear rooms faster and faster. Mom, you don't understand. I'm on drugs and I can't handle this right now. Uh, let's go up because of the holy crown. Breath of life is stinky. I don't want you. Gimme, gimme. Uh, all right. Well, things are calming down slowly, even though it doesn't look like it, right? Do you want to switch characters just for fun? I like the loof. It was kind of fun. Let's take you. I, I had to activate 100% of my brain for this one. Actually, like genuinely. I looked at the map and I was thinking there's only one place it could be. And it had to be here. Oh, such a good item. Thank you. Especially good with this character, right? Because those uh, three broken hearts really don't affect me. She has a max of three hearts from what I've seen. I was a completely calculated red key. I, I feel actually pretty proud of that one. Uh, yeah. Let oh, wait, broken hearts count? I've just been I'm mind blown. Hold on. What is this? Double tap leaves a glitched Moira. Enemies can teleport through. Pickups teleported have a chance to be rerolled. Spawns a cursor to hold bosses for a duration. What? Oh, it's a glitchy character. I see. Stats down. Luck up though. Main dot Lua down there. Uh, all right. Let's see what this one's all about. I guess. Okay. Tears seem relatively the same. Not not even close, actually. Not even close to being the same. Oh, I get it. It's one of everything, huh? Oh, it's just glitchy and weird as everything. Okay. What does this do? I'm scared to press it, but I'm gonna have to. Oh, well, I, I actually, I straight up have a cursor. <laughs> Guys, I'm playing Osu. Look at me go. Wow, this one's actually stupid cool. 
What is my... Okay, I probably don't want to press control anymore. That is my teleport. And I guess things that go through here can be re-rolled or enemies can teleport through there, right? I'll try it out one time just because. There you go. There you go. I think I create like a, a, a TP, right? Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to do it anymore because it flashes and it hurts my eyes, to be honest with you. And I don't want to hurt you guys' eyes either. Uh, just to... Ooh, thank you. Just imagine it's a, a ventricle razor, but uh, as a TP. I hope you guys know I truly am trying not to die. Three hearts womb with this chaotic of a build is truly scary. And it's been a while since we had a, a pure Ipecac build, especially early on, right? So this feels good. I always did say that Ipecac, in terms of all the tier modifiers, or if you want to consider it a, a tier effect, right? Either way, but point is, Ipecac is one of my favorite quality fours that is not that popular. I remember when I was a lot younger and I was doing uh, like Lost to Hush, I believe. I did uh, Hush specifically with Lost and uh, Ipecac, and that was it. It was like zero damage, just pure Ipecac, and that was the day. I specifically remember that day, actually. That was the day I said to myself, okay, I, I mastered the hush fight. That felt good. I always had a soft spot for Ipecac, even in Flash. It just feels good to shoot for me. All right, what's going on in here, party people? I don't exist. Oh, I did the thing where I spawned a bunch of random things. Oh, it's actually pretty powerful. Do I want to switch, though? I mean, uh, it feels kind of dangerous. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna accidentally touch the light. I'm gonna do this. There you go. Just in case I accidentally touch the light, you know, I'd still go upwards. But we're good. Back to regular. Honestly, changing character dynamics every single floor, depending on the resources that you have, is a really, really sick concept, and I am enjoying myself greatly. I still don't know what that does, though, or why it's glitching out, but uh, it's broken, and I've killed a bunch of hearts. That was cool, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, this this is highly impressive. I'm gonna straight up say, like, this is a sick mod. In terms of gameplay, this is very, very unique. Something I've never seen before for Isaac. Let's go back to classic boom. Yeah, you gotta remember all of those are homing too, right? So it's kind of nasty. And I have nine of those stocked up. That's kind of crazy. I'm definitely gonna double that up on the haunt right here and get a large play. Here we go. Boom. If I cut to the point that they all died, it'll look like they all died and it was a single hit and it was crazy, right? So just, just imagine. <laughs> all right, what about in here? I'll take it. Broken modem. That's actually so good for us considering we are going to chest. Treasure. Blind. Smart fly. Very cool. There you go, got it, perfect. Now switch to Hugs and Roses, and uh, just kind of destroy them. So this Eternal Edition showed up, give me that, and then let's go. All right, Yera right away, don't forget. We actually have Mega Satan kill up and coming, which is cool. Some good stuff here. We can actually confirm a bit of conjoined as well. So give me that. This is some soul hearts that I'm definitely gonna need. Spider Baby's okay. Charm Tears are also okay. The real winner here is Backstabber, obviously. And also the fact that we're about to break the game! Uh, because, you know, this is definitely the best version of Rebecca that I've found so far. You guys know that one video where it's like a, a bunch of different video game characters? Or people dressed as video game characters? And they're doing this like weird random board game thing that makes no sense? Y you guys would know it if I showed it to you. Like it makes zero sense whatsoever, but that's kind of the joke. It's just, it's just funny. I saw a tweet mentioning that video and then the caption was like... <laughs> it's like what it's like to watch Binding of Isaac. <laughs> and so many people in the replies actually like tagged me and I thought it was like the funniest thing ever. Is that how it feels for some of you guys? Where you just accept what's going on, you don't really understand, but I don't know, there's like some weird charm to it? I, I think that's sick if that's the case. Enjoy your stay, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your stay indeed. What is going on? <laughs> I guess this game does tickle my brain in ways other video games just simply wish they could. Beautiful stuff. We do get a chest. It's Epiphora. Not too useful, though. Actually, a really fun character, dude. What the heck? What am I playing right now? I'm having an insane time. What's in the secret room? Money. I love it. Goosebumps. I never read Goosebumps, to be honest with you. That was just like a, a thing that never happened in my childhood. Maybe I missed out, I guess. People always talk about it, but I, I never really understood. Do you see the movement that I had to do in order to not get hit there? It's insane if you don't really think about the fact that I have flight. Oh my god, I can't believe I guessed it. What? No situation did I believe that I was actually going to guess that. I was just choosing to a random... Okay, thank you. Oh! Hi, Belial. Thank you. I don't think it does anything, but it's a range up, I guess. Oh, you know for damn sure I'm saving my pedal for a giant play on Blue Baby. He will not be living. This move never made sense to me, by the way. The red champion mega fatty, like, swirly move where you can just stand next to him and he won't do anything. I, I don't really understand that one. <laughs> 
I'll be real. That's one of the few things that I don't get about Isaac enemies. Why does that one exist? Is it like a knowledge check? Like, haha, -ha, you're not supposed to stand far away. You're supposed to stand close. Gotcha. Ooh, dead cat. This is an instantaneous win. That is the confirmation we needed. Look at how insane that ultra secret room is to find. <laughs> No reason I should have found that thing. What? What a beautiful full clear chest, dude. Everything is explored, and the one time I checked a red room, it was instantaneously the ultra secret. Time to say goodbye, blue baby. We got a final mirror. I will turn back into regular Rebecca for thematics. That was actually an insanely fun character. GG's, guys.